Okay, I'm good. All right, what up, YouTube family? Um, yo, so, oh, I just wanted to say something real quick. I looked at a fellow YouTuber who I'm subscribed to, uh, named Miss Sincere. Um, how you doing, ma'am? And she made a video that was talking about the uh, ammo, how much ammo you need. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead. I went ahead and commented on the page, but also said I was going to make a video about it. So, uh, so here's my little video about it. It's not going to be too long. One thing I want to say is, is that when you're in, uh, when shit hits the fan, I will say that you, you can't have too little, you can't have too much. And I will say why. If you have to, okay, put it this way. Say for instance, when it comes to your AR, 1,000 rounds, boom. Um, handguns, about 200 rounds, boom. Um, that's just average speak, especially if you're, you know, one shot, one kill, then that's a good amount of ammo to have. Um, a lot of firefights that if you may be into them is to think strategically, uh, let the enemy waste their ammo, and then when they're reloading, you get set up for position and do what you got to do once they come and pop out. Um, and that way you end up using less ammo. It doesn't work 100% of the time, but it is one of those things that can help you save on ammo. The thing is, you don't want to have too little ammo because, say for instance, you do end up getting in a firefight or you're getting nearly outnumbered, you still have a possibility of winning if you have enough ammo. If you do not have enough ammo, the one thing you can rely on is basically like rocks or something like that or some type of distraction or some type of object to use that basically distracts the shooter enough for you to be able to get a clear shot on them. Now, if you have too much ammo, the one thing you do have to worry about, the biggest thing, is storage. No, no, two things, storage and weight. Storage is that you have to have a place to store this ammo at. Now, if you have it at a single depot, if it gets overrun, that's all your ammo. You basically gave the enemy all the ammo they need. The enemy don't even need to search for ammo because, boom, they found it at a G-pot. You got 100,000 rounds of ammo sitting at the depot that got uh, overrun, you know? Um, so you want to make sure you have good security there. So another thing is, is that when you're out and about, you don't want to have too much ammo on you because that can weigh you down as well. You need When, you're, when shit hits the fan, you need to be moving quickly. You need to have enough ammo on you to protect you against any type of danger but at the same time you don't need too much because you don't want to be weighed down you still want to have that speed you still want to be able to get in and out of the places that you need to get into now one of the biggest well nobody really talks about this one of the biggest problems with going and buying guns and ammo and all that type of stuff nobody thinks about suppressors without suppressors you give away your position if you're in a firefight uh most gunshots can be heard further than 1.6 miles away. If you're in a firefight, somebody's going to know there's a firefight going on. Somebody's going to be able to sneak up on that firefight. They're going to wait and see who's going to end up winning the firefight, and then they're going to pick off the leftovers. So that's one thing you want to worry about is that when you're in a shootout, you're, you're, you have the possibility of giving away your position. So that's one thing most people don't think about when it comes to ammo. Um, so what you want to do is, is what I've been looking into myself is bow and arrows. Okay. Um, there are compound arrows you can get. There are all different types of, uh, bow and arrows that you can get. Um, they're best for sight and kills. Most of them are really effective, especially if you're good at archery, you, you, a good bow, you can at least hit somebody from what about, I say about a good 25 yards away. If you're really good, even further than that. But it's it's good when it comes to stealth. Now, ammo you want to worry about is if you're in a firefight where you're outnumbered, you want to put the bolt to the side and get the gun out. It's quick. It's easy. You can hurry up, aim it, pop and shoot. You can pop in and out. Bow and arrow, depending on the type of bow and arrow you have, you have to load it. Or if you have a five-shooter arrow, one of bow and arrows that's like five shooters, um, you still have to worry about reloading after five shots. But if the enemy already know that you're there, don't worry about no bow and arrow. Just get the guns out and straight start shooting. So I will say this, though. Make sure you have enough. Make sure if you have a lots of ammo, you have an area that's very well secure where that ammo is sitting at. If you go out on runs, you take just enough of ammo that you need to go out and do your runs, and that's it. Otherwise, if you're traveling and you're not staying stationary anywhere, 
You do not want too much ammo. If you're going to replenish on ammo, make sure you get it from those who basically if the enemy's coming at you, you end up winning. Take their ammunition, take their guns, take their supplies, and that's how you re-up. But you don't want to start with too much ammunition because you have to worry about weight and you have to worry about storage. Um, but you don't want too little. So it's kind of like an in-between type of thing, in my opinion. You want to be in-between when it comes to am ammunition. So I will say that. That's just my two cents on there. But I thought about myself because I was buying like a whole bunch of ammo and stuff. And then I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. I'm spending all this money on ammo. First of all, I didn't even know I had that much ammo until I actually went and cleaned out my stuff. And I was like, wow, I got a lot of ammo. Because um, I'm sitting up thinking I need to buy more. But I'm satisfied with the amount of ammo I got. So I got, already got mags that are like loaded up pretty ready to go anyways. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, and that's another thing. Make sure you got enough mags. Because there's nothing like being in a firefighter situation. We have to load the mag itself before you even be able to put it in the gun and use it. So make sure you 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 good up on that. But like I said, that's just my uh, two cents. Like I said, you don't want too little. You don't want too much. You want to get that sweet spot with the right amount of ammo. Uh, my, my suggestion is if you have handguns, make sure you hit, have at least 200 rounds. Of ammo um, if you're doing rifles or something like that anywhere from 500 to a thousand rounds of ammo it's not too heavy to carry you don't have to worry about too much space on there but at the same time you have just enough ammo that if you end up getting in those type of situations if you're really good at planning and really good at being strategic and got people with you that are good one shot one kill mofos then you can go ahead and deal with that much ammo on yourself okay I, that's just my two cents I just want to say that real quick all right then Love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. I know I haven't posted in a while. I will start posting more videos, but I'll let y'all later.